We're here at WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt. I've just stopped Mr. Mario Manovich here in the corridor. He's the director of the Radio Communication Bureau at ITU. Uh, Mario, thanks for uh, stopping for a second or two in your busy schedule. I wanted to ask you, tell us, for those in the know, what is WRC 19? What's this event about and why is it important? The World Radio Communication Conference is a major conference of the ITU that is held every four years and it revises an international treaty that binds all the member states in the international use of the frequency bands and the uh, satellite orbits that governs uh, the use of radio communications around the world. So it gives place to the use of new uh, services and applications of this type, as well as to continue with the regular use of the services that we've been used to. Uh, as you know, the radio communication services are more and more uh, an important uh, component of our lives. They have changed how people uh, communicate and interact. They have changed how industry uh, plays. They have changed how uh, we measure uh, the various parameters uh, of the planet and we uh, track the climate change and uh, we predict the weather. So everything is uh, today has to do with radio communications. So, so this is the place where all this is set uh, from a technical standpoint and from a regulatory standpoint. What are the most uh, important aspects of this conference? Tell us a little bit about what's been happening here. Well, the most important aspect is the new services that are coming uh, to the picture and how we accommodate them in the limited resource, which is the, the radio spectrum. So uh, one of them that is the most popular to all people is the 5G, which is a new generation of mobile communication that is called officially IMT 2020. And this will allow not only communicate faster and uh, with more uh, data uh, coming through incredible speeds, but also will allow uh, communication between objects and between machines. And as uh, people uh, like to, to fantasize about uh, self-driving cars and uh, smart cities and uh, industries that are fully automated and uh, everything that is being governed uh, through artificial intelligence. So this is one of the main uh, issues that is going on. Then we have also the high altitude platforms that is a new, uh, let's say, application that allows uh, connectivity uh, for rural areas and other underserved uh, uh, communities at a reduced price. So this will um, help bridge the digital divide. And mainly a third one that I would highlight is the non-geostationary satellites that uh, are a new, uh, let's say, um, um, networks of uh, hundreds of satellites that will be rotating around, around Earth uh, at a low orbit and bringing broadband connectivity and uh, new possibilities uh, to connect everybody around the world uh, at reasonable prices. So uh, finally, uh, just what do you hope will be the major outcome from this conference? So I think the most important outcome will be to provide uh, a way for this uh, 5G connectivity, the hubs uh, to be op deployed and the new generations of non-geostationary satellites to be in place and provide connectivity to all inhabitants uh, of the planet and more importantly to improve their quality of life uh, by giving a big boost to the sustainable development goals because thanks to those the, the, we will be bringing to them the possibility to be more informed, to, the, the, to get better healthcare, to get education and job opportunities and to improve their quality of life as well as to take better care of our planet.